Okay, welcome to the world, Joe. Now, I'm out here today, you know, harvesting plants. At least today is it pouring down rain. Now, something I recommend that everybody does, I've started a notebook to keep up with the plants that I harvest and the benefits of what I want those plants for. This here is called a chokeberry. There's two different types. There's a red chokeberry and then there's a black one. Now, believe it or not, these chokeberries have more vitamins in it than any other plant with antitoxins and all these other benefits. The thing is why it's called a chokeberry, okay, and I'm going to try a couple of these, is because um, when you first bite them, it's kind of sweet, and then afterwards, it's kind of, you get this nice little twain of a taste. So let's try it. Oh, God. They weren't kidding. First, second, you bite into it, it really don't seem too bad. And then afterwards, oh, this is, this is, I want to tell you what, I would eat this if I'm hungry. But believe it or not, these little berries, oh my God, they're just terrible. Uh, a lot of sugar. You know how you would make uh, blackberry cream and add sugar on it? Uh, these definitely need to be sweetened up. Oh gosh, and they're just uh, breaking up my hands so, so easy. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> oh God, I can still taste it. But I want to tell you what, a hundred milligrams of this here we give you 35% of your vitamins for the day. These gooseberries, as nasty as they are loaded with vitamins and minerals and all that wonderful stuff that we need. Animals look for this bush. And they'll even dig through the snow to get to this here because of the benefits of the berries. Uh, once you harvest them, when they're ripe, and you put sugar in them and everything, you can get rid of that, that bitter taste. And you're going to have this wonderful jelly full of nutrients and vitamins and you can't go wrong with it. But I want to tell you what, hungry or not, if I'm hungry enough, I want to eat this sucker. These deers and birds better get out of the way because I am going to eat these nasty tasting, bitter tasting berries. I want to tell you, they, they wake you up. Oh God, oh, I can still taste it. But this in here is the red gooseberry. Now, I'm in Ohio, so this is where I've located at. So now the thing is, uh, you can buy these plants and raise them. They do get awful big. So you need to think about that. If you want to raise them, you need to have a place in your yard where you can grow these, these gooseberries. These here not only just have benefit for the vitamins, they have other benefits for a, a detox, the cleaning of the liver, uh, countless, countless uses for these, these here. So, you know, I've got my book out in the truck. I forgot to really look at the benefits. I don't write down every little thing about the plants. What I do is I write down what I'm looking for as a benefit for each plant in the area that I want it in. So for when I harvest it, I want to harvest it for that basic use. You can't go wrong on the vitamins and the nutrients on this. So harvest these bitter tasting things, throw some tons of sugar in that thing, and make you some jelly. And you've got something other to help sustain you during the winter months. God bless these plants. So from the world of Joan, I'm sorry, just can't help it. I want all y'all be safe, be happy, bless y'all.